you know. Baby, do you know? Do you know? Come close. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am absolutely furious. It's just me, Deja D, back at it again with another video. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully y'all doing a little better than me, okay? I thought I was going to be cranking out a whole bunch of Halloween videos. Obviously, it didn't happen since it's November, but guess what? We're bringing spooky season into my birthday month, okay? Because I am going to be doing a Juno Birch inspired makeup look. Now, if you don't know who Juno Birch is, Juno Birch is a British drag queen. She's known for her very off the wall, campy looks. I've been watching her for a little bit now on YouTube. She has a channel here on YouTube where she does um, Sim, Sims gameplay. She's so great, I love her. She's stunning. So stunning, 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 absolutely stunning. First things first, I'm gonna be like, getting my accessories together so basically everything that i got besides the wig for as as far as accessories go is from dollar tree okay so she always wears these um garden gloves what do you call these like garden gloves or like gloves that you use to wash dishes she always wears these so i got them in pink these are dollar of course then, um, from watching her YouTube channel, I, I know that she loves flamingos, and she also always, also often wears scarves on top of her head, so I got this blue and pink flamingo scarf for a dollar, and she also always wears these funky, weird, very weird, um, small sun, sunnies, sunglasses, so I got these ones, these are also blue and pink flamingo as well as some hair rollers because I noticed she wears hair rollers and I was like really confused of how I was gonna make this wig. By the way, this is a synthetic wig I got off of Amazon. It's not quite the color of her wigs or her hair, but we're gonna work with it today. So we're gonna be putting this in my hair, but we're gonna do that. The hair is gonna be the very last thing that I do, I think. Um, right now, I'm going to show you guys me getting these, um, putting the finishing touches on these accessories, okay? Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is paint the nails of these gloves. She ha usually has red nails, so I want to paint these. I don't have any, well, I do have wet paint, so maybe I'll paint it with red acrylic, I guess. I was going to paint it with, like... A red marker we can like test it out and see if it works i don't have i thought i had oh okay it kind of works so we're just gonna paint it with the marker i guess and see if it like dries nicely it doesn't have to be neat or anything oops it doesn't have to be neat <laughs> Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be doing is painting the little catch lights onto these glasses. I just literally had acrylic paint, white acrylic paint on this desk. I, I don't know where it went. I've been trying to look for it. I think it fell off the desk. Can't find it. I don't know. So we're going to be using tempera paint. I'm gonna just let that dry and we're gonna move on to different. We're gonna move on to blocking out my brows. Okay, so the next thing that I'm about to do is black out my eyebrows. I've done this a couple times in the past, but it's never been like a very smooth application. So we're gonna we're gonna try to make this like as smooth as possible and as flawless as possible. I watched a video on it which I will link down below, but yeah. 
So the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that all the oils is off of your eyebrows. The best way to do this is with alcohol, but I don't have any alcohol, so I'm going to be using micellar cleansing water today and a cotton pad. Okay, so I literally did one off camera. This is the look. So what I did is basically you want to get this all over so I kind of go against the grain in circles, you know, every all over the place because you want to get this real in, good in there. And you're going to take a brush, a spoolie brush, and you're going to brush your brows up. Get them brows up, girl. My brows need to be done like real bad but hey whatever <laughs> so you also want to push your brows up with your um with your fingers and then clean up any excess glue that you have around your brow with your alcohol but in my case my micellar water so then you're gonna fully let these dry so you'll know when your brows are dry when you touch them and they're not tacky or sticky anymore so we're gonna go in with four layers and the reason why we do this is because there still might be even though majority of my hairs are slicked down there still might be some stray hairs in there that aren't slick slicked down and you're gonna want a smooth application so once you've slicked your hair down you don't want to like go in different directions anymore you want to just go with the upwards with your brows because you want them to stick so just go upwards with your brow and then you can go in with your fingers with your spoolie So I went ahead and did the fourth layer off of camera. I think my brows are laid down pretty nicely now, I think. So now, okay, so I, I watched a video by um, Celine Bernard, Bernard, Bernard? I don't know how you pronounce it, but she did this trick where you use a darker setting powder to color correct your eyebrows. So this is, you probably want to use a little bit darker than this if you're my skin color, but this is the darkest, um, this is the darkest setting powder I have. It's by Sheer Cover and it's in the color Almond. It's, it's basically my skin color. Um, so basically you're going to take a wet beauty blender. You're not only going to use, don't use too much, just use enough to color correct your eyebrows. So I'm gonna take my, my eyes off for a second and then we're gonna just go in on top and we're gonna press this on top of your brow. And this is going to, you know, take away some of the grayness that you'll have when, um, when putting anything on top of your brows. As y'all can see, like, you see the little, like, hints of gray. So now you're gonna probably wanna, you're gonna wanna take a translucent or a white powder, a translucent powder. So I'm going in with the H, um, this is by Absolute New York, and this is the HD Flawless Setting Powder, powder in, in Universal Translucent. It's just a white powder. We're gonna take a lot of this now. Oops. We're gonna take a lot of this and you're gonna put this on top of your brow. No. Look at that. So now I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna wipe off the excess. 
just gonna take this off. It's looking pretty good so far. What do you guys think? It looks pretty good to me. Okay, so the next part I'm gonna do is gonna get is gonna get my skin blue, okay? So usually um Juno has a nice pastel blue skin tone. So we're gonna try to mimic that today. And we're gonna see. So today I'm using this Nazaru um, face paint palette. I got this on Amazon. I will be linking this down below. I I did do try to create this look a couple days ago, and it just wasn't going well. It wasn't going well at all. Flashback. Look at the makeup coming off. <laughs> end of flashback my paint was cracking like the application wasn't going on smooth it was just a hot ass mess okay so today i'm gonna try this one more time i'm gonna be using the blue and the white from this palette today so yeah today i'm using this brush i have not used this brush for this yet but today i'm gonna try to use this one and we're gonna see how that works because i was using sponges i was using like a paint type brush so what i'm going to be doing i have a cup of water here i'm going to be dipping my brush in the water like so like that and we're going to dip your brush in the paint over here and then i'm also going to go into white a little bit and blue again and we're just going to See that application? See, this is a little better. I do like this a little bit. Okay, so this is the first layer that I have on. I don't know if I'm supposed to let this dry first and then continue or do I just continue? I think I'm gonna just continue. I don't know. So the best application for this paint is Either this gets the color on initially, but if you really want some good pigment, I'm gonna you should use a flat paintbrush type brush. Go in swiping motions back and forth, up and down, back and forth, up and down to get. And I kind of do it real fast right now. I'm just filling in the color as much as I can, you know, getting the color in here. So today we're using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by bh cosmetics um i'm gonna be using like a a like fluffy brush that's used for your blending eyeshadow out and we're gonna use um just like a royal like a blue color like this one this one and we're gonna use that to contour and i'm using more of like a padding The hard part about this is like I don't want to blend it too much because then because then um it will start peeling on me and I don't want it to start peeling but I also need to blend it you know because it is a little harsh but we're gonna fix it okay this is gonna come out good I have faith that this will come out good I hope it will come out good Okay, so now just bring this down your nose. I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge with the translucent powder and put it everywhere that you would usually put 
your transition lucent powder and we're basically using this to highlight because I feel like I'm a little too dark honestly so we're gonna use this to highlight okay so <laughs> I think the powder was a mistake. I don't think that you need powder for this look, honestly, but we're gonna keep on going. So we're gonna use, now we're gonna blush it up. So I think I'm gonna use, let me use this color in the palette. Oops, this color right here, the pink. Another small brush is what I'm gonna be using. Another fluffy thick brush. Get your, tap off the excess. Tap on here because I am now a beauty influencer. Hello. So first things first, I'm gonna take a bullet brush, kind of like this one, and we're gonna go in to your crease with a black color, okay? So this is the color I'm gonna go into with. And yeah, just watch me. I'm, I'm scared, I really am. So then now, she started to blend out this with the same brush that we used to contour. So I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm going in with the translucent powder underneath my eyebrows just to like highlight them. Instead of using like a cream, because I just don't want to like lift anything up and whatnot. So yeah. Then I'm using the white in this palette and then carving this out some way, somehow. I think this is like the Sally's brand glitter. It's the glitter that looks like this. And it'd be in Sally's at the counter. Don't know what it's called, but it's matte pretty. It's matte pretty. This look might come together. I see it coming together nicely, and I think it's gonna get it. Okay. I just have to have patience. I just have to have patience, and I don't have patience. I would say it's Sagittarius shit, but it's really just a me thing. It's really just a me thing. So, right? Small blending brush small fluffy blending, blending brush you're gonna go in to the blue like a dark blue color and we're gonna blend that around So apparently we're gonna go underneath the eyelid and do that underneath, the, do what we did on top, underneath the eyelid. Um, this paint is just all wrong for like smooth applications. Like it's just, I, I blame the paint, okay? I blame the paint. I blame the paint, I really do. But <laughs> anyway.
Okay, so I'm gonna do a liner off of camera, like a wing liner off camera, because I cannot, I cannot do it. On. Okay, look at me, y'all. Do I look a little less crazy now? I'm gonna go in with some highlighter now. I'm gonna use the LA Colors Boost and Face and Body Shimmer in the color Sugar Dust. Oh, actually, let's do some lips. So I'm thinking like this color. The first color I put is just so LA Colors like lip gloss or whatever. So now I'm going to put in the center Stila's. Um, Liquid lipstick in the color Bossy, I think. I don't know. I put that in the in the center. Those lips look stunning. Okay. So now that I've done that, we're gonna use do some fake freckles, some faux freckles. I've already did some on my face. The color I'm gonna use is this one. It's the L'Oreal Volumous Originals Blue Mascara. It's in the shade Cobalt Blue. So I'm gonna use my eyeliner brush and get some product on there. Last thing I have to do probably is the little catch lights on her face, so I'm gonna do that with eyeliner. I am using Suva Beauty's eyeliner in the color Space Panda, and just like a regular um, paintbrush, and I'm just gonna paint some catch lights on my face. Okay, there's my catch lights. Whoa! I think this is kind of cute, don't y'all? I think it's kind of cute. I'm a, I am a little cracky and everything, but I think it's really cute. And I think it's gonna be really cute when I'm like finished with it completely. So I'm gonna put some eyelashes on. Um, the eyelashes that I'm gonna be putting on is from the Dollar Tree as well. Here's like, these are like the ugliest eyelashes ever but this is the ones i'm going to be putting on they look like this they're by color mates so this is a little packaging and they look like this they're pretty thick and ugly so. oh my god thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed because i am stunning i'm stunning Yes, I have a filter on, but, but yeah, <laughs> I, hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing this. Um, it took hours to do this. I'm sorry I didn't film the, the hair. It's kind of stupid, so. I'm a lady now. <laughs> yes, I am stunning.